don't know what a struggle this video is being so far. <laughs> I started filming like half an hour ago and I'm still here because my phone keeps on falling or I don't have enough storage what the fuck? So yeah Sorry, I needed to get that out of my system. So I'm here today guys to actually inspire my face from this look Oh my god Yeah, this is actually from Ariana Grande's last music video with Lady Gaga who is a queen we all love her, come on, we all love Lady Gaga and Ariana Grande is a queen as well, she's like a, a bad bitch So I had to do this I don't actually have the, you know, the right products to do the weird thing they have around their eyes So it's going to be a struggle, but um, we're gonna manage, I guess I actually wanna stop running my mouth and dive straight into the makeup because I need something on my face And with something I mean makeup, not something else Because like the fuck is this and excuse my dark circles as i told you last time they're always there so yeah i'm actually looking forward to cover that and this cute little bindi <laughs> that i have um be between my my eye like what the hell is going on with my face let's just put some makeup on because i just i can't <laughs> so yeah let's just get started so first thing first, I am gonna put this Mao headband and like put my hair behind so you can see my ugliness from, you know, close up from like every single angle. So first I'm gonna pry, apply. So first I'm gonna apply my primer. Voiceover Pre is gonna take over otherwise this bitch is gonna keep on talking shit. So I apply this illuminating primer from e.l.f. and let it set on my face for at least 30 seconds. And don't worry, I did moisturize my face before this. I'm, I'm not crazy. At least, not yet. Then I took my foundation from Kat Von D and blended that all over my face, making sure that it was decently blended and finally covering my pimple bindi. Fatality. Once I was finally looking like a corpse, I applied my concealer from Revolution. I kinda wanted to give my face a little bit of lift, so I applied it like this. Oh, look at that. A flower. Then I quickly blended the concealer and set it with the banana powder from Revolution. So after applying the banana powder, I set my face with the MAC Studio Fix Powder and I put it everywhere I didn't put the concealer. And yeah, if you're wondering, my brush actually broke and I'm broke as well, so I haven't bought a new one yet. Then I applied some bronzer on my cheeks, forehead and jawline and well, I feel like I kinda put a bit too much of it, but um, it is what it is. So now the eyes, oh my god, I'm so so nervous for this i'm so scared i'm gonna fuck it up and then let's just do it i guess so my plan is as i don't really have that um i think it's plastic the plastic plastic the plastic thing that it goes around their eyes um i don't have that so i was thinking to use my <laughs> concealer to kind of draw that like white eyeliner that the Ariana and Lady Gaga have and then put the eyeshadow on top of that I think I'm gonna fail but um, let's just try it I guess I actually used the James Charles palette and started with the shade Skip I used it as a base for the look I obviously blended the mess I made in the beginning to be honest I'm trying so hard to not put like weird faces because when I'm doing my makeup I'm, I'm always like so right now it's such a struggle to not do that. I then applied some of the shade Love That in the corners of my eyes and blended that inwards. I mean, I already look like Ariana, come on. I again took the shade Skip and applied that under my lower lashes and then took the shade Face and put that in the corners of my eyes just to make them pop up. And now we are gonna do the part where probably I'm gonna fuck this all up. Yes, you will, girl. Cool. So as I said in the beginning, I took some of the concealer and basically drew the eyeliner that both Ariana and Lady Gaga have in the picture. I'm not gonna lie, I was actually regretting my decisions while doing this. It was a struggle, guys. Now the problem is going to be copy that here. I'm so scared, like my hands are... I kind of wanted a Ctrl C and Ctrl V feature over here, but um, that's impossible, so I had to manage with that. Ta-da! 
no, 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 no. <laughs> it looks like I look like a raccoon to be honest. I feel like I have some, you know, glasses on or something like that. Yeah, they don't even look like cousins, girl. But that was actually better than I expected, to be honest. No, actually, um, this was a mistake. Next, I took the shade Escape and basically applied it over the concealer until I got to this result. I know I look really calm in this clip, but I was definitely screaming from the inside. Now they definitely look like a pair of glasses. So instead of starting to cry, I decided to move on and drew the eyeliner, which according to the picture I was taking inspiration from, it was a very thin and short eyeliner. Then I put my mascara on, which I apply first on the lower lashes and then on the upper lashes. I know, I'm weird. Next, to conclude the eye look, I put the lashes on. Why do I feel like the look is coming together? <laughs> oh, and don't worry, I'm not finished with this. I'm not just gonna leave it like that. It doesn't look bad. I look like a raccoon, but it doesn't look bad. So I'm thinking to do the rest of my face first and then come back to this. So I then apply this blush from MAC Studio. Sorry, but I don't remember the shade of it and I'm too lazy to, you know, go and check it up right now. After that, I applied my Becca highlighter. I put it on my cheeks, lips, nose and forehead. And lastly, I put this pinkish lip liner on along with some lip gloss until it looked like something like this. To make my raccoon glasses pop up a bit more so they look like a little bit like Ariana's look, I took a lip gloss, basically the same one that I applied on my lips, and applied it on the purple shade of the eyeliner just to give it that glossy effect. As Ariana's hair are quite wet in the picture, I decided to wet mine as well, just to kind of finish the whole look, which is more of a mess than a look. I sprayed some of the water in my hair until it looked like they were glamorously wet, and well, this was the result. Okay, so now that looked like a mess, um, let's end this video. <laughs> okay, so I had very different expectations, but um, it's not that bad. Yeah, it is. It is really bad. It's really, really bad. How do I do that? How can they look so good while having wet hair? I just that's beyond my understanding so yeah let's end this video guys i hope you enjoyed this disaster i know um i had very different plans at the beginning but then this happened uh in my head i thought it would work but it didn't work as, as we all can see i really hope you're gonna leave like a pity like to this video leave a comment down below like insult me i don't mind you can like literally tell me anything because i understand that this look is it's not it and yeah so we'll just see you guys next time when i will probably do a look which is which is a look and not like a raccoon inspired look so yeah i will see you guys next time bye